Hello there, my name is Ismaus and today we are going to be looking at uh, how to make realistic water droplets on a beer can uh, like you see here. Uh, yeah, so if we are not going to model the can itself, I already modeled that in a time lapse uh, that you can watch over my second channel, Blender Templates. And uh, if you want to download the, the model itself, you can find it on my Patreon page or cgtrader.com slash ismausvfx uh, which is my CG, which is my 3D store. Uh, but uh, in this video we are going to be looking at how to set up the lighting, uh, the droplets themselves and the material materials are to make this look nice. So let's dive in into Blender and uh, get started. Uh, this is uh, the final render. You can see uh, if I get rid of this uh, bad light texture, I can uh, simply change uh, the color of this uh, to whatever I want and I think it looks just amazing as well. So I can uh, change this to any way I can or change up the texture uh, to anything I want. I'm going to first create uh, this uh, water droplet and use it as a particle instance uh, to instance it around the, uh, the art IV sphere. We don't need all of this resolution because we're going to need a lot of particles and uh, having that many segments is just going to cause a lot of trouble. I think we can get away with uh, something like uh, six segments and four rings. Uh, we're going to also add a subdivision surface just so we can round off this surface. I know it's kind of counterintuitive to remove the resolution here and then add it again with the subdivision surface. Uh, the, the later is easier because you have control over how you're working it because you don't want to have that much resolution in your viewport. It's going to slow down your viewport quite a lot but uh, you might want to have it after when rendering. If we get rid of the resolution in, uh, in the creation here we can add it back using the subdivision and then control it using the, the subdivision surface and then control that uh, so if we don't want it back we can just switch it off just easily like that. Uh, so now we want this to be in a shape of a, of a droplet. So let me just first get rid of this wireframe. So if you look at uh, some references or water droplets, they're always uh, flat on the bottom surface. So we're going to do that by just uh, uh, scaling this bottom side up. So we have, so we have something like uh, this uh, to simulate a surface uh, tension. And uh, this is way too rounded. We want this to have kind of a direction because uh, of gravity, the water is going to be flowing a bit down. Somewhere uh, like this. We want a few variations here, so I'm just going to... Might need one that is uh, that has a trail on it, so I'm just going to... You can spend a little bit more time on this, but uh, now we can work on the material. The material we're going to just use a, a simple glass material, so shader glass BSDF. Connect that. Uh, the water index of refraction is about 1.33, I think. So we're going to use that and just uh, link all these materials. So let me just save this. So that's our water, and now for to instance this, I'm just going to create a new uh, group collection. So I'll call this particles. I uh, will need two uh, collections, and this is going to be a tray trails. And so you can make a variation of this. Maybe and, uh, the, the last thing you want to do is make sure that uh, the pivot point is settled at the bottom uh, like so. You don't want it to be in the middle of uh, the object or the instance the instance object. So then we can go to the particle system, add a new particle system. We're going to be using here. Uh, you need to make sure that uh, your normals are oriented to the right direction. Right now they're facing the wrong direction. So I'm just going to recalculate them using shift N so that they're facing the right direction. Let me turn off this face orientation. Now we want to switch out these hairs for the collection just going to select the particles collection and uh, I don't like how they're distributed so I'm just going to add in some division subdivisions here so that we have an even uh, distribution and can also go to the source here and change distribution from detail to random and now the orientation of these particles is a bit off so we're going to go under uh, the 
Uh, make sure you turn on advanced as well to access the rotation. Check that and uh, then you can change this to normal. Now that is also still off so we can uh, like this rotate it in the I think it should be in the yeah in the x direction negative x direction 90 degrees I do the same for this 90 negative double check that uh, your pivot point is settled at the bottom like like that now we can go in and start playing around with the size of these particles so i'm just going to reduce them to make them really small let's look at the final render here oh, we need something to reflect off uh, the droplets so we can you can see how the droplets are reflecting let me turn on gpu denoising now we need quite a number of uh, particles so let's uh, increase the particle count so i'm just going to go there and uh, increase this to something like 500 5000 particles i want a little variation so we're going to increase the scale randomness uh, let's add a new particle system we're going to reuse this settings here so i'm just going to select this and reuse this and then just make sure that i check and check this so that this is not an instance of this particle set setting uh, so we can now go to collection to the instance collection and change this to the trails collection and now all these trails are are being placed on the same position as the as the other particles so you can see if i shut this off you can see that uh, they are positioned at the same position as the previous particles which is something we don't want so we can use the seed to change uh, their position and uh, we don't need as many trails so well, let's use something like 1000 now the orientation is off unless uh, you want you want it to be like this uh, but uh, if you want to change that you just have to go to the uh, rotation i think is phase and uh, change uh, the phase direction you can also add in some bit of randomness but uh, not too much you can also change the scale up a bit now you see one of the problems i will face is that uh, some of these particles are going to be at the top here and that will leave these kind of trails uh, that you don't want uh, in the bottom here and uh, the top here uh, so yeah you can see here uh, this this will happen uh, I, I kind of forgot to get rid of that but uh, let me show you how you can avoid uh, something like that happening uh, so for that you just have to go into your object data and set up a new vertex group let me first get rid of this and uh, yeah you just have to make a selection of where you expect those particles to be because you don't expect them to be if they can be here but uh, the orientation is going to be a bit off so you can select around these vertices and uh, give them a new vertex group like that and then use that vertex group uh, for your particle density so you can scroll down and uh, vertex group and use that as your particle de density and that should get rid of uh, the particles uh, that should avoid those particles kind of straying off uh, from the mesh and uh, we still have a few issues here but, uh, we can easily get rid of those by just uh, changing the seed value until we find a seed that doesn't give you those stray uh, particles or you can just go in and uh, get rid of and we add here add here and uh, just get rid of these of this uh, from the weight and uh, that should be just uh, that should give you that Okay, I'm not sure why this is rendering like this. Ah, okay, I'm in the wrong project. So I just shouldn't be doing any of that. Set up the lighting uh, just quickly here. I think it's better just uh, show you how the kind of set lighting 
other receptor because it's, uh, it can take some time to experiment with the proper lighting to get the lighting correctly. So if I go to the, again, you can get this project file on my Patreon page if you want to on, or on my uh, CG Trader account. Let me just shut off all the lights so that you can see how I kind of uh, set it up. Uh, the first thing I did was, uh, let me show you each light individually and how it's adding to uh, everything. So this would be my backlight. You can see how it highlights uh, the edges and make, making the scene look quite cold as I want it to be. Then I add in some background light to highlight so that I can separate uh, this backlight, so helping me separate the foreground from the background and also giving that giving us that light rim light there uh, that makes everything look a bit cold as i want it and uh, also adding again some color in the background there to kind of uh, so that is not a pitch black back there i'm not even sure i think this is a light that is shut off then adding this area light and add a highlight here and then another Another one to add a highlight there. Uh, this is for yeah, this one here. Yeah, and that's it. And that's how we get to where we are. Yes, yeah, so uh, if you want to watch the time lapse of how I model the can and uh, also maybe the time lapse of how I set up everything here, uh, I'll be adding that to my second ch channel. Uh, Blender templates uh, so that you can get it there. And uh, if you also want other project files, you can find it on my Patreon page. But uh, anyway, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.